Okay, so let's dive in. What's the core process behind this bull test strategy? The paper mentions quite a few steps. It does. It starts with data exploration, looking at correlations, autocorrelations, seeing how a stock's volatility relates to its own past or to other stocks. Stand and stuff so far. But then they bring in technical indicators, hypothesis testing. And importantly, machine learning, specifically K means plus plus clustering. They use this on the mean volatility of nine big tech names, you know, Microsoft, Google, NVIDIA, Amazon. Meta, Qualcomm, IBM, Intel, Micron, the usual suspects. Right. And they cluster them based on their average volatility levels. So you get these groups high, middle, and low volatility stocks. So it's about grouping stocks with similar nervousness profiles together, not based on price, but volatility behavior. Precisely. And this grouping helps them zero in. The really crucial step comes next, focusing on that middle volatility cluster. Okay, why the middle one? Well, we'll get into the reasoning, but they apply something called the Granger causality test, specifically to stocks in that mid volatility group. Granger causality? That sounds statistical. What's the goal there? The goal is to see if the volatility pattern of one stock in that group can actually predict future volatility changes in another stock within the same group. Ah, so it's not just correlation. It's looking for a predictive lead. If stock A's volatility changes before stock B's... Then potentially, stock A's volatility trend can give you signals buy, sell, or hold for stock B. That predictive link is the engine of the strategy. 